Hi, fifth graders. This is Eureka Math. We are in module six, and this is lesson 10. The objective is to compare the lines and patterns generated by addition rules and multiplication rules. So do you remember in uh, the lesson nine and lesson eight, we talked about um, when you do addition to your X and your Y, you create parallel lines, right? When you do multiplication, the lines start to go up higher like this, right? So, ooh, that's terrible drawing. Anyway, you get the idea. Let's go to our learn book. Please write your name. Ooh, I don't want to do that in yellow. Let's try a better color. How about this pink? Okay. Write your name on your page, and let's start with the Lesson 10 problem set. Use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. So we're going to go through these one by one. Line P represents the, the, the rule x and y are equal, okay? x equals y or y equals x. They are the same. So here we've got 1, 1, or I'm sorry, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. All of the coordinates are identical, okay? Construct a line D that is parallel to line P and contains point D, okay? Now, if it's going to be parallel, it's going to look like this, right? So we know what the line looks like, but now we need to create a rule for that line, okay? So they're parallel because they're equidistant all the way across, but now we need to create a rule for that line. So let's see. If x equals y, how, what's the distance here? Is that 2? So this... This is here and this is here. So let's see, that, that's one, two. So let's try that. Y equals X plus two. Let's test it, okay? Let's test that theory. So if we have X equals zero here and Y equals two, yes, that fits. So zero, two. Let's try another one. If x equals 1, that would mean that y equals 3. Perfect, right there. And uh, let's not use d because they've already given us that. So let's try one more. If x equals 3, y equals 5. Okay? So what we've done is we've just created a parallel line that is two units away. So there's, between here and here, there's two. Do you see that? So all we did was we added two to the x-coordinate. Identify a rule to describe line D. So the rule would be y equals x plus two. Construct a line E that is parallel to P and contains the point E. Okay, so now I'm going to switch colors. Uh, let's let's try purple and I want it to go through E so it's gonna go here and here and here and then this is going there and that will be there so this one we didn't add to we subtracted didn't we so let's find three points on that line let's see one zero Two, one, three, two, okay, All right, three, two, one, zero, two, one. So all of those are one less than our original. So let's try this. Y equals X minus one. And does that work? So if we had one, one, now we have uh, one zero. Okay, two minus one would be one, so two one, three two, four three. Compare and contrast line D and E. So this is line D. This is line E. Is that right? Oh, I'm sorry, I have that backwards. Line D and line E. Uh, in terms of their relationship to line P, they are both parallel, but 
but line D is two units above and line E is one unit below. Write a rule for a fourth line that would be parallel to those above and would contain the points three and a half and six. So three and a half, oh, I'm sorry, three and a half and six. Three and a half and six. So that's going to be above, so it's going to be adding. And it looks to me like it is one half above. Let's see. So that would be y equals x and this is xx, so that would be one and a half plus one and a half. Let's see if that's correct. So if x is three and a half, right, plus one and a half, it's going to give us five. Is that what we got? Wait a minute. Three and a half. No, it's six, so it's got to be two, three and a half plus two and a half. Let's try that. Two and a half equals six. So this rule would be two and a half. Let me try with another number just to see if it would be a, the same. So let's see, it would have to land here to be parallel, right? So that would be two and a half plus five. So two and a half plus two and a half would equal five. Yes, so two and a half, five is that coordinate. Good, so here's our new rule for that one, right there. Sometimes you need to test it, make sure that you did it right. Next one, number three, use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. Use line P represents the rule X and Y are equal, so X equals Y. Construct line V that contains the origin and point V. So it's still got to have the origin and point V. So it's going to have to go like this. Now that is not a parallel line, so instead of addition, we're going to use multiplication, okay, because it doesn't go parallel. So multiplication is going to give us that straight up and down. Name three points on that line. Okay, well... There, that's a little bit better, a little straighter. So we know that 1 is 0, 0, because they said it goes through the origin. 1 would be 2 and 4. Okay, the next one, let's see if it's going straight up this direction. One, two, three, four, like here. Let's try that one. That would be four and five, six, seven, eight. So four and eight. And I think we could do one more at five and 12. Is that right, five? No, four and 12, sorry, four and 12. Nope, that's right, five and 12. Hmm. That would be 6 and 12. Ah, there it is. That's what it is. 6 and 12. Sorry. 6 and 12. Okay, so that looks like a, just a, a regular multiplication. I had to see how to use a straight edge to like look at it because I don't have my ruler here on the screen. Identify a rule to describe line V. Well, y equals 2 times x, right? So if 0 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0, still 0 is 0. If x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. If x is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. If x is 6, 2 times 4 is 12. Okay, so our rule is y equals 2x. Construct a line w that contains the origin and point w. Okay, so that's going right there. 
And now when we, when, we, when we went up x and x, that gave us multiplication. So I think on the other side is going to be division, right? So let's see. Here we've got 0, 0, and 6, 3. And our next one would be, let's see, 10, 5, is that right? Mm -hmm. Or we could say 4, 2, or 2, 1, or 12, 6, right? That's going to be W. So what happens? Well, Y is X divided by 2. And if you want to write that Y equals X divided by 2, you can. Okay, they're both the same. Compare and contrast line V and W in terms of their relationship to line P. Okay. V is above and W is below. Are you starting to see that X equals Y is kind of our point of reference for us? Right? That's our 45 degree angle. Do you see that? Right, this is a 45 degree angle too. So everything else in between is different angles. And then the whole thing is 90, obviously. Okay. What patterns do you see in the lines that are generated by multiplication rules? Okay. Multiplying moves the line up. Mm -hmm. And dividing moves the line out, right? So up and out. Okay. Circle are the rules that generate lines that are parallel to each other. Okay, parallel. Remember we said parallel lines are the adding and the subtracting of x, 2x. So add 5 to x. That is a parallel line. Multiply x by 2 thirds. That's not going to be parallel, is it? x plus 1 half. Yes, that's addition. x times 1 and half. Nope, that's not going to be parallel. Only addition and subtraction give you parallel lines. Good. All right. Lesson 10 homework. Lesson 10 exit ticket. And ask me if you have any questions. Great.